Hey, Mr. Hollywood. Hey, folks, we're here for, we're gonna have an exciting show for you today. We're going out to the Chandelier Islands today with Thomas Jennings. We're gonna run out, hopefully gonna get y'all some big, beautiful trout today. We're here, we made it. It's a pretty little bumpy little ride, but we're in the spot. We're gonna be using live croakers today. Ooh. We're gonna see if we can get this game going here this morning. Nice trout, nice trout. Net. What a way to start the morning. Here we go, boys. All right, all right. Hold on, let me get him around. Let me come look around. Nice. I got him. It's some quality fish, man. We kept off the bat. Now you get uh, too far hit them. Yeah. Okay, we, we were here yesterday pre fishing for today. And it, it's exactly the same. I, I'd actually, the bite might be a little better today. Well, we've got to cut yours. <laughs> No, sir. All right. Ah. Uh, yeah, he came off. That's a good one right here. Real good one. This is a good fish. Look at this. Got a shot? Oh, yeah. Look at this fish. Good, solid, three-pound fish. All right, Shadi. Let's see who got the biggest one. Oh, mine is, of course. Come on, come on. Let's check, check. Mine. Oh, wait, eat. no, no, wait, wait. It'll eat yours. No, you eat about a half inch. You got lucky. Pounds. All right. Rematch. <laughs> Fish on. Where's the other net? I got it right here. All right. Where are you at, big dog? Oh, you're good. Just like All right, fish on in the back, yeah. fish on in the front. We got one on this one right now. It's on fire. It's on fire, lady. Get them while we can. That's right. Bike can turn off any second. You got to pick your rod up. Come on, Cap. One minute, Eddie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're here on the bar tab with Mr. John and Jenny here. Fishing hey. vessel bar tab, son. <laughs> <laughs> we are on one major speckle trout bite right now. Need a net? Come on. Boy, he's on him over there. Good trout. Nice one. There we go. I'll take some. Looks like uh, yesterday a little yes, bit. Yes, sir. Bring it all around. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh. Big trout. Ah. Come on. Come on. That ain't no shot, you trout. I 
like a quick release action, right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, baby. I told you them clickers coming right. handy. Do it, baby. Right. Fish on. Here we go. Crack that cheek, Teddy. Oh, boy. That's beautiful. Well, like you said, you go fry it. What are you going to do with it? Saute it? Um, we're gonna we're gonna blacken this guy right here. Oh man! A little blackened trout action. We invited? Yeah, y'all are invited. Hey, Scott, I'm gonna have to cook him at the butcher shop for lunch. Hey. Oh, oh, not again. Hey, sometimes hey. you have to adapt to the situation. Hey, y'all can spoil me though. You know that, right? Look at the size of this one. Got a net? Come on, bring here it comes in. the net, man. Yes. Man, these fish. Keep, keep going out until we run off of it, then put the anchor out and we'll drift back. All right, there it is right here. You're starting to. Yep, there it is. Boom, drop the anchor. Right. The way we were sitting, when the, 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 the tide's coming this way and the wind was blowing this way, so it was holding us in one spot. Well, now the wind's laying off, so the tide's taking over and turning the boat wrong. So what we did, we come over and we've repositioned the boat to where we can still all fish out the back of the boat. You see the little island here, and there's a bar that comes out and it drops off. We're right on the edge of that drop off. Those fish want to come up and feed along the edge of the bar. I always like to hook mine on the ground, the way he swims off the bottom. You hook him in the nose, they just don't last as long. He's got a lot more action. You put it right below the center line there, above the dorsal fin. If you go in that, above that line and that line, you'll, you'll, you'll paralyze it. Good sensor. Oh, what? Keep them catfish up on the bow. <laughs> that fish legal? <laughs> I think this is the smallest speckled trout I've ever caught at Freemason. Doing what I do best. I had a full shrimp from the butcher shop. They taste twice as good today. Nature's protein right there. Man, we're on uh, the fishing vessel bar tab. Got the boat two weeks ago. It's a uh, 36 Twin V catamaran, and uh, Captain Teddy's been trout fishing his whole life. We've been doing quite well so far with uh, the Chandelier Island live bait trout fishing thing. But what happened was the tide went flat, and everybody knows once the tide goes flat in between high and low tide there, um, there's a lull. So we went over to the back draft, and we picked up the captain, and he took us over to one of his Christian, right? Yes, sir. And we, he brought us over to one of his little afternoon falling tide honey holes. And so far, we've picked up several trout. We hadn't been here 20 minutes. So we're going to see if we can fill up the box right here. It'd be a nice one-stop shop. Wow, that man don't... There we go. Oh, that man. Nice one, Dad. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a net. Here, I got it. I got it. That was a beautiful, good fish. Got him. There we go. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Let's see if we can do it without. Tide switched around. 
Made a little move, found some good clean water, and found some good fish again. Nice. You got a net for Mr. Scott? I got it. Look at that. Bring another one in. Nice. You gotta imagine one tropical storm or good hurricane, it all changes. Yo, this is probably the last year at least spot. We're in the restaurant business on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and uh, after Katrina, I uh, came up with the idea to open a open air, casual, waterfront restaurant concept. I guess it was close to 10 years ago, we started feeding customers that would come in with fish that they would catch from charter captains, you know? When people come to the coast, tourists, and they hire a charter captain to take them fishing, they can come to the restaurants, Marina Cantina and the Blind Tiger, and we cook their fresh fish for them. Started tuna fishing a couple years ago, sword fishing, and uh, finally got the opportunity with the Blind Tiger to do what I love, inshore fishing, and this is quite the boat to do it on, so we're very blessed with that. Hey folks, we've had a wonderful day. We got a box full of fish. I want to thank Thomas at the Blind Tiger and Captain Teddy for putting us on. Look at these fish. You can only see this action on Mississippi, Mississippi Outdoors. Outdoors.